This is Sean and Sue's podcast on 92.7 WOBM. The Ocean County Breakfast Show with Sean Michaels and Sue Ma. Ocean County's best variety. 92.7 WOBM. Right now we're at 39 in Tom's River. Nancy Remy's with us. I got to ask Nancy this question. Hi, Nance. Because she has daughters. Yes. That are of age. Oh, I know what you're going to say. So, a <laughs> North One of whom, te- by the way. What's that? Has a 24th birthday today. Hello. Well, happy you're birthday. You're kidding me. Anna's birthday. Oh, well, happy birthday. I didn't even know that. <laughs> yes. All right, so here's Anna the situation. Anna, Anna. What's the situation? Okay. A woman in North Texas gave birth to her own granddaughter after being a surrogate for her daughter. Now, I asked Sue this question earlier, and she said she just could not give an answer at this time. It's an amazing so, my gift. question to you. Could you be a surrogate and carry one of your daughter's babies? Would I be a surrogate for one of my kids? Yes. Oh, if I was healthy, I would do it in a heartbeat if they yes. couldn't do it themselves. Because okay. we cannot, it is a it is a beautiful gift that you have an opportunity to give to your child now, the woman if they who, can't do yeah, it. Yeah, the woman who did it was 54. Her daughter mm-hmm. was 28. She was having problems she with infertility. Problems. Oh, isn't that a great story? And she uh, gave beautiful. birth to a healthy girl, and um, they're both doing fine. What both is it, right now? It's the best the gift. The best gift So Nancy says, world. without a doubt, without hesitating, she would carry. Sue, you're still up in the air of Abby asked you to carry her no, baby. I think so. it's, you know, it's all if you feel good. Okay. Yeah, it's but, all well, if you're healthy. Well, if the healthy. doctor said, you know, you can do this without uh, endangering But I would do you don't have a problem being grandma giving Never. birth to your granddaughter. Okay? No, because it's just, you know, at this I know, point, but you're you just... know, there are skeptics out there that would say, you know. Well. I wouldn't care about the skeptics at this point. Okay. I'm well, caring about my daughter. Yeah, right. and, w- and what would the the option would be maybe a, a stranger as a surrogate? I would rather mm-hmm. do it. Okay. You know. There you yeah, go. Yeah, sure. Folks. Out of the mouths of the ladies of the morning show. (laughs) Yeah. And we're moms, and we would do anything for our children. Of course, whether or not my daughters would want me to be the servant, that's a whole different thing, you know? (laughs) Yeah, really. (laughs) But they know I would take good care. Yes. Yeah, let's just hope Abby stays far away from having a baby at this point. She's nine. Yeah, that you have some time to think about. Oh, for goodness sake, yes. using that as an example. We have time. Off to the highways. (laughs) Nancy Remy is in no maternity leave yet for her. No, no, no. Maybe for me. Oh. 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 This report brought to you by Farmers. (laughs) Say no more. Farmers Insurance as we check out the scene for Parkway Travel North and South. Don't we... 92.7 92.7 WOBM, Sean Sue with you, Monday morning, 6, 12, 30 degrees. Over the weekend, I put up a uh, blog once we found out that there was no winner in the uh, lottery, right. the Powerball. Uh, the uh, next drawing will be Wednesday night, and it'll be worth $1.3 billion. Wow. Not million, and I'll probably say million during the course of the show today, but I mean a billion. It's billion because it's you billion. know what? We don't ever say that. No. Millions there's, we might have, Sean. Yeah, there's never been, <laughs> You're right. There's never been a lottery though in the billions. <laughs> I mean, this is big time money. Right. So we asked the question, what would you do with a billion bucks? Mm-hmm. Uh, Michael wrote in, pay my New Jersey taxes. Ah. Now he said that, and then John answered him back and said, yeah, for a few years that you'd be broke again. Mm. And he put laughing out loud because the taxes are so high, you right. go through a billion dollars. Uh, Donna says she wants to start a foundation nice. to help families in need. She says, we need more assistance for struggling families. Now, Lisa, That's nice. yeah, Lisa wrote in she'd make a huge donation to our friends at the Popcorn Park Zoo. Oh, that is wonderful. And Donna wrote in, and I don't know about this one, Donna. Tell me. She would buy a street. And then she'd have everybody in her family live on the street together. Oh, wow. She says, though, in separate houses, of course. Could everybody in the same family live on the same street next door to each other? That could be a recipe for disaster. I don't know, but that's really, (laughs) really nice. Because so many families are split now, far away, a couple hours away. But do you think that if you put everybody on the same street, you know, Uncle Joe and and Aunt Sue and Grandma and Grandpa... Mom and dad, just the immediate, you know, those crazy cousins, you know, from Idaho, whatever the case may be, <laughs> and everybody living on the same street, right. you know. You know how tough the holidays can be sometimes <laughs> getting together with the family. Can you imagine if we all lived on the same street? You won't have to travel, you won't have to travel. It's good news, yeah. You just punch each other in the nose right Stop in the backyard. That. I'm just saying, Sue. 
man, money has made you evil. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if you want to comment, it's up on Facebook, Twitter, head at WOBF.com. We'll have more of them coming up throughout the morning. 92.7 WOBM 719. Earlier, real quick, Nance, we were talking about this uh, breakfast stout beer with the baby on the uh, label. Okay. All right. Now, mm. I was asking, why would they be breakfast? What, what's the, I don't get the connection with beer and I breakfast. I don't get the connection of the baby the, on the beer bottle. Well, because it's, he's having oatmeal and he's eating his breakfast. <sighs> but I guess it's because of the flavoring here. They say this stout is a combination double chocolate, coffee, and... Oatmeal Oats. stout. Mm. Mm-hmm. So I guess what they're saying is it's sort of like a you know breakfast in a bottle, but right. I don't know. Mm. Still kind of hey, weird. Listen, weird only marketing. You're talking right? about it, right? Well, it's true. You're talking Look at about that. it, and no. now they I actually have want a little to taste bit it now. more promo. Yeah, yeah. I actually <laughs> want, to, want to see what it tastes like. Uh, well, of course to... you do. I mean, they they, they mention like it's when it's when there's that chocolatey and almost coffee like which is to, describing to Guinness your... almost, but exactly, you know. Exactly. Mm. Not that you wouldn't know anything about that now, would Now, you? let's just move along here now. <laughs> Every picture we saw of him in Ireland, Listen, I wasn't he had just a beer eating, in his hand. I wasn't just eating bread and drinking beer now. He had a beer in his hand. <laughs> no, you Stop. were photographing them. I was photographing them. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you weren't just eating them, you were photographing them. <laughs> There's a method to my man. That's right. <laughs> uh, off to the highways we go. Nancy Remy's in with the Ocean County Traffic Watch. <laughs> And we've got a pretty good ride for a Friday morning commute. It's a report brought to you by Dunkin' Donuts as we look in on Southbound 9 and the build-up. 92.7 WOBM, Taylor on a Thursday. It's 738, 25 degrees. So my niece, Hope, spends her afternoons with us, comes over to the house after school yes. and hangs out with us. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I, you know what I'm catching up on is an old show that many kids watched several years ago. But I'm now becoming new to what it. What is it? iCarly. Oh, yes. And we're watching reruns of iCarly it's every afternoon. Mm-hmm. And you know what? It dawns uh, on me that this show is ahead of its time. Because if you look at now a lot of how digital uh, things are happening sure. in music and television and everything else. Everything's the web, done on the computer. iCarly yeah. was doing that back before everybody was doing was that it. that like the early 90s or yeah. mid-90s? Well, no, well, I guess mid-90s Mid-90s, maybe. upper 90s probably, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, wait a minute. No, maybe early 2000. It couldn't have been. It couldn't be 15 plus years ago. No, because she's not that old. No, I was going to say, she? yeah, maybe 2005. Maybe, Maybe yeah. 10 years ago. Early 2000s. Maybe 10 mm-hmm. years ago. So anyway, but, but they're doing stuff that now is, you know, content marketing. I mean, uh, you know, different platforms are using... The, uh, the website to do the streaming video and, uh, mm-hmm. you know, all the different, uh, the music and the TV and everything. So, but I'm catching up on Hope it. Hope is Abby's age, right? Almost? Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They so, could be friends. Yes. Should we have a play date? Um, would that mean that we have to play? <laughs> yes. I'd like a I snack. Does that mean I have to have you come over and I got to put on, like, coffee? Yeah. And no, I, I don't bake drink something? coffee. Yeah, a nice cake would be nice. Uh-huh. But anyway, do you watch iCarly sometimes? Yes, you, yeah. of course. Oh. Yeah. Anyway, I'm learning all my digital <laughs> background through iCarly. Here's an excess. All you got is smoking. 92.7 WOBM with the Chili Peppers on a Monday, 728, 30 degrees. By the way, I diverse for just a second. I digress here for a second. Um, my wife was making sausage and peppers yesterday. Ooh. Oh, oh. Speaking of the chili. You love? Uh, delicious, yes. She always makes a, you know, a bunch. And hmm. yeah, red sauce and the whole thing. So, But okay. delicious, though. So, do you put it in anything or just eat it on the plate? Do you mean, put it do in I a put roll? It in anything. Um, yesterday, I put it on a roll. All right, good. Yes. I'm surprised. You're, you sort of stay away from the carbs. No, I love bread. You see, you don't know me at all. I <laughs> love bread. I could make a meal out of a good piece of bread. <laughs> Me too, oh, and that is the I worst do, thing, I do love Sean. Bread. I love bread. It's the worst thing for us. Well, I don't know. What do you do? Anyway. Oh, everything in moderation. Exactly. That's what you say. Timed out for the breakfast dish, and of course, last night, the Golden Globes <clears throat> suit with the big news. Did you happen to hear all the beeps, beeps, No, beeps. I, didn't, I didn't watch any of it. Speci- especially when Ricky Gervais, of course, was the host of the 73rd annual Golden Globe Awards. 
I t- I'll tell you what, more beeps than ever. Really? Which means there was a lot of cursing. Well, what were some of the highlights from last night's Golden Globes? Some of the highlights, of course, Denzel Washington won an award. His um, speech was adorable. He couldn't see with his glasses. So congratulations to him. Leonardo DiCaprio, he won Best Actor for his movie, Reverence. Do you want to see it? Yeah, I do want to see it. It looks okay. very good. Cool. I do want to see it. Uh, also, uh, crazy moment, uh, Mel Gibson yes. and uh, Ricky Gervais. Yes, because last year Ricky said sort of all these things. And, yes. and, yeah. oh. and then there was a lot of beeps in the middle of that as well <laughs> as they were whispering into each other's ears. Wow. Don't know. Um, also, one more thing I thought was cute. Cookie from Empire won Best Actress on Fox, and uh, she was handing out cookies. <laughs> now, there was a local connection, uh, Sue. Yes, tell us about this. With uh, last night's Golden Globes. We mm-hmm. got an email from Susan. She wrote in about her daughter. Right. Her daughter is a mixologist. Her name is Karen Grill, and she's quite popular and famous out in Los Angeles. Yes. She created the drink... For last of night's the stars, yes. um, Golden Globes. How cool. It was called the Moet Ruby Red. Mm. It was, Ruby um, Red. Yeah. And did you see the pictures of it? No. It's a very cool looking drink. Oh, that's awesome. And um, basically it, it has what does uh, it have in it? It has Moet uh, Champagne, mm-hmm. Moet and Chandon, uh, also lemon. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, a little bit. And I'm not quite sure what this is. Tarragon, raspberry, citrus shrub. Okay. And also a little bit of vodka. Wow. And this is what made the Moet Ruby Red. Mm. So, Check it out. But isn't that cool, though? Karen is her name, and she was originally from the Jersey Shore here, but she's out on the West Coast, and she created the drink for last How night. How cool is that? Uh, uh, let's see. We talked about the lottery, $1.3 billion. We're going to have more of your comments coming up. What would you do with a billion bucks? Football was crazy. The Steelers-Bengals game crazy. was a backyard brawl. And then the devastation for the Vikings yesterday as the kicker missed a chip shot, basically. Yes. Ugh. <laughs> and the sad news. It was horrible laces up. Ugh. They were up, by the way. Yeah, they. Oh, they, it was their game to win. Oh, my um, goodness. The sad news from the music world out of London this morning. Uh, David Bowie. David Bowie. Hmm. Battling cancer for the last year and a half. And so. we didn't even know. Yeah. You know, he kept that pretty much secret. He passed away last night at the age of 69. Yep. Brand new album out. Just came out this week called yeah. Black Star. Wow. And uh, one of the songs entitled Sue <laughs> on his final album. I'd like to hear I that. was listening to it this morning. So, But uh, yeah, Sue, I was like, oh, no, I had to mention that to you. David Bowie yeah, passed sad away news, last sad night. News. Yeah, so, uh, very sad. We have more of that uh, information up on our website mm. at WOBM.com. Ocean County News on Ocean County's news station, 92.7 WOBM. 92.7 WOBM, Sean Sue with you. Simple Minds, 527, 30 degrees. Time for the breakfast dish. All right, let's start with, well, the Oscars were handed out yesterday, and Star Wars fans, The Force Awakens, are asking... What the heck happened? Well, the nominations were out yesterday, yes. Sorry. I'm sorry. What did I say? The, the noms were out yeah. yesterday. Highest grossing film in U.S. history, of course. But, it, you know, it just doesn't fit the Oscar mold. I should mean, have I, gotten Best Picture. You it think? should have. No. I think so. No. Definitely. Not based Definitely. On, not based on sales. So the that original were the case. Star Wars got yeah. one. Well. But don't you think... Uh, At the John time when Williams, the original Star Wars came out, it was never really... No one had seen something on that level before. Right. Now it's like every movie uh, in they the had summer a couple, is like um, that. You're right. They had a couple technical achievements, yeah. nods, and of course, um, John Williams it, and his music. It didn't have enough teeth for Best Picture. All right. That's just my opinion. I mean, At I least liked it would it. have been a film that we all know. <laughs> <laughs> well. So Harry Potter star Daniel Radcliffe calls Alan Rickman, who passed away yesterday, one of the greatest actors He's worked with. Rickman died at the age of 69 of cancer. Yeah, that was very sad. Professor Snape you was got with it. Harry for a long time. Hey, this uh, billion-dollar um, Powerball. Yeah. One of the 73 winners that won $1 million mm-hmm. went into her Kentucky lottery yesterday. Yeah. Got the $1 million, mm-hmm. and she gave blood. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Well, that was she nice. thought, I got, this is what she says, quote, a million dollars sent down to me. Mm-hmm. 
I thought the best thing I well, could give do back. is give back. Every blood. little bit helps yeah. when you give back. So 73 people throughout the country won $1 million with that. Yeah, a lot that of- was five of the balls, not the power ball. There you go. Looking at movies for the weekend, Sue, Ride Along 2 comes out. Looks good. Ice Cube and Kevin Hart team up again. 13 Hours, the story of Benghazi. I'm sure that Hillary Clinton, happy to see that coming out. Oh, boy. Um, and uh, oh, Norma geez. the North is out. It's a cartoon oh, animated yes. for the kids, uh, for the family. So okay. if you're looking for something for the family. That's nice. Norma the North, a polar bear, I believe it's yeah, all about. Yeah, so definitely. That is uh, coming out this weekend. He looks cute. Speaking of the uh, debate last night, interesting debate. Uh, oh, you know, you've got Donald Trump and uh, Ted Cruz sort of sparring there on different things. You know, whether Cruz is Canadian or not. Has it turned into a circus? Cruz it is. Cruz hates New York. Uh, it's a circus. But anyway. Up there on stage. The one thing that I that you watch and you go, oh, you just shake your head, is how Jeb, who's all the way over to the end now, one mm-hmm. more step to the left and he's going to fall off the stage. Okay. Um, he's over <laughs> there and he keeps trying to do something to, to get, you know, in the mix of whatever. And he tries to fight with Donald Trump. And Trump just yells at him and tells him he's weak, and then and Jeb just looks like he's gonna cry, <laughs> I mean, or jump on him and say, "No, I'm not. I'm not weak. No." But um, you're a poopy face. Yes, leave me alone. <laughs> I thought Governor Christie They're did all well. Like that, uh, Chris Christie is a good debater. He is. He's very good. He is. Uh, Marco Rubio. We both were saying off the air. We feel a little bit too polished. Like cue cards are being raised yeah. for him. Mm-hmm. Uh, he, he speaks in you know ways that just sound a little rehearsed. But anyway, and that's the complete opposite of Ben Carson, who you worry sometimes. Oh God, is he going to go off topic or what, what's he going? Because <laughs> he gets a, <laughs> gets a little lost in things sometimes. But anyway, last night's debate. Me in the news. We'll, we'll talk more about that I as watched. we go along. I just think it's 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 a total circus. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's crazy at this I point. I was looking at uh, numbers. Is that the last one? No, I think there's um, a few more. Oh, for goodness sake. They uh, did a poll as to who was uh, the person talked about most on uh, social media and the Internet, and Donald Trump won that, of course. Sure. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see here. Football this weekend, Sue. Oh. Playoffs continue. And here's your rundown for you, because it can get confusing where to find these games sometimes. Kansas City and New England tomorrow. Uh, that's at 4.35 in the afternoon on CBS, all right? Chiefs and Patriots. Mm-hmm. Then the nightcap, Saturday night, tomorrow night, Green Bay and Arizona in Arizona, 8.15 start on NBC. Then on Sunday, Seattle will visit Carolina at 105 on Fox. And Sunday afternoon, Steelers in Denver to take on the Broncos at 440 on CBS. Mm. So there's your rundown of football for the weekend. Right. Had some music news for you, Sue. They're calling it three for the hall. They announced yesterday these three teaming up, Hart, Cheap Trick, and Joan Jet all going together on a massive U.S. tour. That's cool. As they celebrate all being in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Oh, They're I calling love it. it three for the hall. It'll kick off this summer, and I'm sure they'll visit our neck of the woods. Fun. So there you go. That's going to be a great concert. Yeah. We'll be back. News, traffic, weather next on WOBM. Ocean County News on Ocean County's news station, 92.7 WOBM. Streaming live on the radio. 92.7 WOBM, Monday morning, 924. So it's that time of year. It's cold, cold and flus, all that good stuff. So we wanted to find you, Sue, on this national hot toddy day. Yes. The ultimate hot toddy. What's the ultimate recipe? Okay, so here's a recipe that I found at food.com. Let's go. All right, so here's what you're going to need. First, our ingredients. Let me write it down. Yeah. You need two ounces of whiskey. Jeez. <laughs> oh, they say go with Jack Daniels if you can get it. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. um, tablespoon of honey. Oof, love that. All right. You need four ounces of water. Okay. All right. You need a teaspoon of lemon juice. Mm-hmm. All right. And you need a slice of fresh lemon. Okay. Is this all in one cup? Yeah. Two things of whiskey? Two ounces. Oh, two ounces. Yeah. All right. Okay. So what you do is you place the whiskey in a large microwave-safe mug. Mm-hmm. Okay. You add your honey. Okay. Oh, then you take the hot water out of the tap. You pour the hot water into the mug 
over the spoon you used for the honey to get the last little bit of drops and everything off of yeah, it. Yeah, sure. Okay? Then you add your lemon juice and you stir it well. Place the mug in the microwave for mm-hmm. one minute or until it's piping hot, but not boiling. You don't want to boil it. And then add your slice of lemon after it comes out and you drink it down. There you go, Sue. There it is, the hotty toddy. There's your hot toddy for oh, you today, Oh, it's the hotty toddy. Or On today. a day like today. Ooh, that'll take any cold or sore throat you yeah, might I'm have supposed away. To help you out. I'm serious. I'll, I want you to go home today, and I want you to rest. Take it in. I want you to put your feet up and sip your hot toddy. All right? Then close your eyes and Put everything and, and else rest. in the whiskey bottle, and then put it in the microwave. Everything How in the whiskey sound? bottle? Yeah. little honey. <laughs> Add honey to the whiskey bottle. <laughs> no! <laughs> And 40. All right, right now we're at 28 in Tom's River. So, Nancy Remy, we often go to her for uh, medical advice. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Is that true? What? Yeah, well, well. <laughs> okay. She okay. had a little accident. Uh, she fell oh. out of bed. Oh, my God. I fell All out right? of bed last she night. She wants to know is it possible that she bruised her cartilage in her ear? Yeah, she the feels top like she of broke her ear. ear. <laughs> Can you break an ear? So, first off, I, I cannot tell you why I fell out of bed. Hmm. I remember bed sort of waking up and I know I hit my ear on the side, you know, my wood frame of the bed. Wow. But why would I fall out of bed in the first place? And I remember sitting there going, did this just happen? I landed pretty much in the dog bed <laughs> that's next to the bed. Thank goodness for that. You're yeah, lucky. I'm glad I didn't wow. land on the dog. But, um... But it really hurts, and I was wondering. You break your ear. Did I? Can I break an ear? Uh, There's cartilage bruise. right in I your think ear. You, I think you bruise the cartilage. I don't maybe. think you can break an ear. But it was it it, it, it happened at the top of the but ear. You, you know that do damage if you hit your you know hit your mm. side of your head. You're very lucky. Did you get pushed out a bit? No. Okay. Not that I know. Are you sure about that? <laughs> I'm positive. I uh, just you, rolled. Maybe you were having a bad dream. Does that ever happen to you? Did you ever roll out of bed? Um, not well, since I was nine. Yeah, oh, when yeah. I was little. <laughs> yeah. It is the strangest thing. I'm, Remember they used to say like, I, I, oh, if you're dreaming, you're falling, and you fall yeah. out of bed, that you'll uh, you'll die. <laughs> if ever they used to say Stop that. Stop that. Yeah. But I didn't die. I'm here. Well, I didn't say you oh, did that. Oh my gosh. He always puts a good spin on it, doesn't no, he? No, I'm talking about the old legend <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. of if you fa- you've if heard you were, that, Nancy, before, if were, right? If you were dreaming yes. that you were falling in. We're not and, saying you did that. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Jeez. No, I but didn't. You might have had a bad dream and just were, you know, yeah. active. Rolled over to too far out. or something. Right. It was an active dream. Well, I'll, I'm gonna... Wow. <laughs> what kind of dream was it? Shame it wasn't reality, right? Break an ear. Why don't you? Oh, and it hurt. <laughs> it really does. It hurts right now. I should ice it. It's the top of the ear, though, where that cartilage is. Thank goodness I didn't hit my inside of the ear well, or I was say, you, you, head. You, you know, really smash your head. And yeah. Who needs that? Oh, All right. Well, All right. We'll Thanks for in. absolutely double, no help, tuck, both of double you. Double tuck you in. Thank the, just thank the dog. Yeah. Uh, yeah. She <laughs> saved me. Put some pillows around the bed on the floor. Off to the highways we go. Nancy Remy is in with the Ocean County Traffic Watch. Oh, for goodness sake. We're... Uh, we're in good shape, believe it or not, as we're making our way. This report brought to you by Thomas Edison State University. Really? 92.7 WOBM. Good morning. Morning, Sean. Hey. Hi, Nick. What's going on? Good morning, Look, I'm sorry. I had to set those checks up. Yeah. Yeah. We were waiting. We all did that. They would have bounced. Yeah. $1.3 billion. Are you playing? Oh, you bet your sweet puppies I am. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that would be something. You think you could deal with wow. spending. You know, as I mentioned in my story that I wrote, I'm sure a lot of people would like to at least try to spend oh, a billion my word. dollars. See, what bothers me is that it's a, a, a billion dollars. Why can't they give a, a million dollars to a billion people? Yes, and that's why I say it would be really great if it was a business or an organization that won <laughs> and not just one person. Because somebody's going to win it, and, you know, it's crazy. And spend it in like a month. <laughs> They're gonna end up on Dr. Well, Phil. <laughs> they had on TV this guy who won three hundred fifteen million dollars in two years. He was broke. He was gone. Unbelievable. Yep. <laughs> Thanks, Nick. All right. Well, we'll see what happens. You can post your comments. The stories at wobm dot com. It's also on Facebook and Twitter. What would you do with a billion dollars? Check out the story I'll at wobm dot com.
92.7 WOBM Prince, Wednesday morning, 643, 23 degrees. So it's back, Sue. It is calm, cool. What is it? And decidedly continental. What is it? The Lincoln Continental, Sue, is back. 2017, they'll be making the new Lincoln the Continental. The breakfast? A, A car. Con- oh, the car. The Lincoln Continental. I was thinking Continental Breakfast. But like a little, like a, a I, I, roll and a, you know, a cup was of not, coffee, yeah, you get that free roll. continental breakfast. Yeah. I was not thinking car. <laughs> At Lincoln, I didn't even think what was a Lincoln. All right. Listen, they stopped making the car of kings and presidents back in uh, 2002. <laughs> yes. So they've decided to bring it back. And I'm oh. looking at it. It's a nice looking car. Didn't they? Yeah, they probably... Um, made it look cooler and well it's you know is it as big the modern, i remember they're big yeah no it doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't have that big 70s flair right, right. that the continental used to have remember i think people loved oh, them oh they though, were that boxy big. and yeah. big and long yeah they look like a hearse a kinda. lot of room in the back seat bob you know i mean that's what you used to did you ever hear that i didn't hear that a lot of room in the back seat <laughs> anyway, is it a little smaller they now? debuted it in detroit at the big auto show the Continental. It's back for 2017. All right. Oh, boy. <laughs> Another turning point, a fork stuck in the road. 92.7 WOBM. Sean and Sue with you. And joining us right now, our special guest, Caleb Worthy. You know him better as Dez. And uh, he's from the Disney Channel and the big shows there that they do, Sue. You he's going to be with Kidda Baloo with us coming up. Uh, and it's going to be a lot of fun. Caleb, good morning. Thanks for getting up with us. Good morning. How's it going? Hi, Calum from Austin and Allie. We just said goodbye to you. It was a sad night in my house. <laughs> it was. It was pretty sad. It's pretty sad. I was crying. My mom was crying. Oh. <laughs> so how was it saying goodbye to everyone? Because I would imagine, will you still all get together, or is this pretty much it of Austin and Allie like seeing each other? Oh, that's it. I'm not. I'm not. I'm never seeing those guys again. <laughs> <laughs> You're no, done okay. with Ross it's, Lynch, right? <laughs> oh, I'm done. No, it's, it's actually funny because we're we're all such close friends that for us the uh, finale wasn't that sad because mm-hmm. we hang out all the time. So we're we're sad to say goodbye to the show. But I'm already working on some of the projects with the creators of Austin Alley, Kevin Heath, and um, Ross and I spent New Year's together in Las Vegas this year. And Ray and I, our families hang out every month, and same with Laura as well. Oh, Very that's cool. so nice. How long were you guys doing the show for? Uh, for four and a half years. Wow. All very right. Good, very there good. we go. You know, once you're in the Disney family, you never get out. <laughs> you know, oh, I'm so never out. We'll, we'll see Des again. We'll see Des. Or yes, maybe not Des, but we'll see uh, Caleb again. So, Kid of Baloo, you're going to come. You're going to hang out with kids, and uh, you're going to hand out money, right? Is that basically what you're oh, doing? Oh, Caleb, I'm coming. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, just handing out dollar bills. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to be doing with the kids? Taking photos, autographs? What's going to be happening? Yeah, we're doing photos, uh, high fives, a lot of selfies, and basically just wanting to say thank you to the fans for watching for four amazing years and to, uh, to, to say hi to them in New Jersey. That's Very so, cool. so cool. You bet it's happening February 6th. It's a huge, huge deal, Kid Baloo. Yeah, we thank you it for is. coming out for it. We thank you for coming out for it. So can you give us a hint? You, you touched on you're working on some new projects. Can you can you flash forward for us, or is everything under wraps? No, I'm doing uh, – I did two movies this year, um, or last year, uh, and they're really fun. They're both big, epic sci-fi movies. Um, cool. One of them is with the same producers as 300, and then one's the same producers of uh, Clash of the Titans. Nice. So they're very epic sci-fi movies, and I think fans are really going to dig it. Oh, wow. very cool, very cool. cool. So you, that's going to be exciting for you. Outer space, heading out to outer limits. So I to like speak, it. You know? Yeah, yeah. Very cool, very cool. Caleb well, Worthy, well, hopefully we will see you. Where can we find you? Are you all over Facebook, Instagram? Where are you? Yeah, I'm all over Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can hit me up. I am very on the grid. Now, don't forget, if you want to hang out with uh, Calum, it's happening on February 6th uh, at Brookdale Community College. And you can go out there and uh, see him. Go to our website at WOBM.com for your tickets. Uh, Calum, have a great winter, and we look forward to those sci-fi movies and looking for you at Kidda Below. All right, man. Sounds good. Take care. Thanks, there he Calum. is. Calum Worthy. We know him as Dez, Austin, and Alley. He'll be at Kidda Below. If you want to join him, get your tickets now at WOBM.com. 92.7 WOBM, Sean and Sue with you. And, of course, this is The Breakfast Show, so why not talk about breakfast, Sue? Sounds good. Joining us right now is actress and now celebrity cook Tiffany Thiessen joins us. Talk all about a great new contest. And, of course, this all spins out of her fantastic new show, Dinner at Tiffany's. 
Uh, you know, a little play on words there from sure. breakfast, uh, you know. Uh, <laughs> Tiffany, good morning. Welcome to the program. Good morning, Sean and Sue. Have you had your oatmeal this morning? Oh, you know what? I have we oatmeal did. out in my desk, yes. actually. So, how are you? Well, did you know that your oatmeal bowl could have, could win $250,000? All you have to do is go to bringyourbestbowl.com and, and enter to win. You just have to come up with two to five ingredients that could inspire Quaker to come up with their new flavor. Bringyourbestbowl.com. Is that what it is? You got it, Sue. Ooh. All right, so now what Chocolate is Chocolate chips and apple. How does that sound? That sounds good. Yeah. Good I like it. Chocolate I like apple. it. Apple. Yeah, mm. yeah, I like it. <laughs> what are we looking to do, Tiffany, here? We're trying to come up with a flavor for oatmeal. Is that what we're trying you're to gonna, do? You're going to help Quaker inspire them to come up with a new flavor. So all you have to do is think about two to five ingredients that you would think would be amazing on top of oatmeal. And oh. I want you to really think outside the box here. I have three recipes actually on the website, bringyourbestbowl.com. You don't have to always think just sweet breakfast. I mean, here's the thing. I have a savory one that's called grilled cheese and tomato soup. It's got cheddar cheese. It's got sun-dried tomatoes and basil and breadcrumbs, a little olive oil. Whoa. Oatmeal can be savory, too, truly. It doesn't have to be just sweet for breakfast. Excellent. That sounds, that oh sounds my pretty word. neat. I was reading about that. I said, that does sound good. Oh, my goodness. It's really good, I promise you. That does sound really good. Now, listen, not only are you going to come up with a, with a flavor for Quaker, you're also going to win a pretty good little chunk of change, right? I mean, you may not have won the lotto, but $250,000 <laughs> is a pretty nice thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a lot of money. $250,000. Yeah. Excellent, Think excellent. $250,000 for two to five ingredients. Not bad. Not bad. When's the deadline enter for this? Now through March 12th. Very good. So, folks, start thinking about it. The start best flavor, now. you know, that you want now, to put Tiffany, together. Now, Tiffany, I have a question for you. How do you get kids to eat oatmeal? How do I get well, my, my daughter to eat my oatmeal? My daughter loves oatmeal. But here's the thing. Here's a little trick. I, I, I really, it does work for me. And, I, of course, it may not work for everybody. But mm -hmm. I tried to get my daughter to be in the kitchen and cook with me. So I let her fix her own oatmeal. Mm. I let her kind of create her own little bowl. Um, and I do that with a lot of meals. I let her come in and actually kind of create some of her own little dishes. And she really is, she kind of takes pride in what she creates, and, and most likely she'll eat it. Does it matter what um, she actually puts on that oatmeal? I mean, maybe it would be Lucky Charms. Would that be okay as long as she's eating okay. oatmeal? As long as she's eating oatmeal, I'm okay with it. All right, that's cool. That's you know, cool. something I do that's kind of bizarre, and Sue has seen me do this because I have the tube of Quaker Oats in my desk there. Yes. I eat it raw. I just eat it out of the okay. tube. I, I, you he know. does. <laughs> Hey, okay, well, hey, you know, to each his own, Sean. You know, I, I I hear you, but I use oatmeal a lot. I use it in different recipes. I put it in my meat loaf. I, I, I love oatmeal. We 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 buy the big 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 ones and and have it in our pantry all the time. That so is when awesome. is your show on, Tiffany? Well, we're actually premiering uh, season two of Dinner at Tiffany's February third on Cooking Channel. It starts at eight o'clock Eastern time. So it's going to be a new season with. Lots of new people, some returning guests, and That's all cool. new recipes. Season one was a huge hit for you. Who knew? Yeah, it was. Who knew, right? Who knew? I, who I knew? honestly didn't know you were now, such yeah. the chef. It was Which great. came first? Did your love of cooking come first and then the show, or did you get the show and then you found you loved cooking? <laughs> no, I've been cooking since I was young. I, I was always the girl that was with my mom or my grandmother or my aunt in the kitchen learning. I became such a foodie as I started traveling, you know, to different countries when I was young. And cool. I've always loved to cook. So that's always been there. And, uh, you know, the whole idea of doing the show really kind of came organically as well. My friends would come over and be like, hey, let's have dinner at Tiffany's. And I was like, that's a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> that is that. perfect. <laughs> now, if, if folks go to cookingchannelTV.com, they can click right onto the link to uh, Tiffany's show at Dinner that's at right. Tiffany's with all, you can watch past episodes and all kinds of cool stuff there. All of season one on the website, correct. And then how is it? Starts February 3rd. Eight o'clock on Cooking Channel. And how is it that you look younger and younger every year, Tiffany? Um, Sue, I love you. <laughs> you're the best person in the whole entire I'm world. I'm telling you, we've watched you for sweet. years, but you look younger than ever. Oh, you're so sweet. Must I don't know food. why, because I'm exhausted right now. With <laughs> baby. It's an oatmeal mask. It's the oatmeal. She uses oatmeal it's as a my facial. Oatmeal every morning. You are absolutely right. That's <laughs> the hidden secret, people. Now, I've got to tell you one quick story. Going back to the past, and it's really quick, it's one quick story, because I was telling my wife that you were going to be on with us, and we were laughing. Long time ago, when we first got married, it was at the height of Beverly Hills 90210. You were on the show, you were Valerie, and we went to a gift auction, and we've all gone to gift auctions. Yeah, uh -huh. sure. There was this giant clock, and I'm saying it was probably about the size, I don't know, of a small refrigerator, you know, I don't oh, know, three, three feet long or whatever. Wow. It, it was in the shape of Luke Perry's head. <laughs> 
the clock. And did, and did someone actually win that? Now, or listen, did they actually buy it? Listen to me. It Sean was, it, has it. You, <laughs> listen to me. It was the size. It was three feet big. Luke's head had the the, the clock hands in it. Whatever. Nobody was bidding on it, so I figured, hey, this is kind of goofy. I'll put a couple tickets in here. And guess who won the Dylan head, we called it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Sean, I want to know, do you still have it, and what room in the house is it in? Fantastic. No, we do not. Oh. My wife got rid of it. She said it was the uh, it was just, it, it the could ugliest not stay. thing it ever. Couldn't it's stay. No it's kind of weird to wake up and have, have Luke Perry staring at you. Oh, my word. It was the craziest <laughs> thing, but anyway. <laughs> There's my Beverly Hills 90210. Uh, uh, well, Tiffany, it. much like it. much um, love to you, and good luck Thank on your you. second season. Thank you so much, you guys. And don't forget, if you want to join in on this contest, you want to go to uh, check out the website uh, with Quaker Oats, and we'll have all those links up on our website. Uh, Tiffany T. said, thanks for being with us, and good luck with season great. two. You're great. Thank you so much. Have a good morning. All right, bye-bye. bye-bye. There she is, Tiffany T. and Sue, the always Oatmeal. beautiful looking young guy. Oh. Like you said, though, she looks like she did oh, on Beverly Hills. Oh, my word. She is beautiful. Yeah. You know, motherhood maybe is the key in oatmeal. She has two kids, and yes. she's married with her mm-hmm. husband. They live in L.A. So Lovely. There you go. Anyway, check it out. We'll have it all the up the uh, information. Come up with the uh, oatmeal. You win a quarter of a million dollars. Sounds good. Sounds great. And bring us some oatmeal with mm. WOBM. Thanks for listening to Sean and Sue's podcast on 92.7 WOBM. For more details, go to WOBM.com. 92.7 WOBM, Ocean County's best variety. Start your day with the Ocean County Breakfast Show. Sean Michaels and Sue Mall have everything you need to start the day in Ocean County. Diane D'Alavera has Ocean County News. Weather from meteorologist Dan Zero. Nancy Remy with the Ocean County Traffic Watch. Plus, the hometown view with Kevin Williams. The Ocean County Breakfast Show, weekdays 5 till 10. 92.7 WOBM and WOBM.com.